had a guest. He was really cold, didn't have gloves or a hat. His nose was dripping. I had a pot of coffee ready, so I got him a cup of coffee. So I live with 12 other people. We're all addicts and we're squatting in a house. And there's not even a whole roof over our head. There's snow coming in. I'm the only one right now who's able to come and get what everyone needs. One thing that really stood out then was he asked how he could serve, what he could do to help at that moment. And that hit me like a Mack truck right then and there. And we were able to give him the meals that he needed and that the others needed. We were able to give them blankets and hats and gloves and coats and socks. That one day really cemented why we do what we do for our neighbors. Focus Detroit has done an amazing job of constantly having a, a new set of people come in every other Saturday. And everybody's just so willing and just so eager to serve God and serve God's people. And that's what this is about. What I like about Focus Detroit is even our parents who come in are able to also have a healthy meal because let's face it, if a child does not have access to food at home, then neither does the parent. Focus Detroit works through partnerships in the community, through a lot of prayer toward a common mission in serving our neighbor. The two partnerships that are pillars of our ministry are at Oasis of Hope Christian Church and at Commonwealth Community Development Academy. I think at our lowest, we were feeding 50 people a month. And now with this partnership, we are doing 175 meals twice a month. A lot of people don't have running water. They don't have electric. They don't have a lot of the things that we take for granted. So they're coming to the free store, Outfitter for Good, to get those things every two weeks that they otherwise wouldn't have. We're also working at other Orthodox parishes like St. Nicholas and Troy, they have their community garden. We also provide a significant amount of his vegetables to him. This year we're gonna do oh, about 1,100 pounds of produce out of that garden. What a blessing it is for us to have focus as a part of our Detroit area because uh, many parishes wanted to help it. People in the parishes wanted to help and didn't know how to do it. I've always wanted to get involved with helping the community and like people who are in need. And I came and I loved it. And now I come whenever I can. Being able to truly serve Christ and help those that are in need sometimes can be difficult. So Focus Detroit gives us the opportunity to go and serve our neighbors in a way that God calls us to. Focus has a unique position. Very often Focus is helping those areas which the parishes otherwise would not normally find or help. Focus Detroit for me is more personal. I am a daughter of a single mother, and so for years it was my mom and I against the world. I realized how blessed we were. We had family, friends, community, and our faith. And so when I think about even the folks that we serve, right, and what Focus Detroit really does and what it means, we are that community for people. That's what everything is, is relationships and building relationships with people. And I think about it and that's what Focus does. The thing with Focus Detroit is it allows people to live out their faith in Christ. This partnership has brought a blessing to our community to our congregation and personally to me. There's really no limit to what Focus can do. I think we can roll our sleeves up and get to work. It is for everybody. We're able to give people dignity where they have been living in despondency. We're able to give joy where there's been hopelessness. I see a really bright future. I just want everyone else to see it too. Thank you.